hi everyone and welcome back to my channel today I just wanted to show you the new platinum range that Madame Glam have recently released I have six out of the seven colors and I'm just going to show you how they apply and what the finished product looks like so first off I'm starting with precious stone this has got um, beautiful silver flakes as well as purple flakes of glitter and it is a lovely consistency it goes on really smoothly and um, with all of the swatches that I'm doing today I actually ended up applying three coats of each colour um, I found that the first coat was very sheer this would be excellent for using over another colour you definitely wouldn't have full coverage of the nail you would actually have visible lines through the polish so if you wanted to apply it over a complementary colour I'm sure it would look beautiful um, two coats I found were still a little bit sheer but usually by the third coat most looked like they were fully opaque Next up is Lil Sis. This has silver and pink flakes of glitter in it. Sometimes it looks as though it's throwing off a bit of a purple, but um, upon close inspection, I really can't see any purple glitter in this polish. So I think it just may be the, the camera and the way it's reflecting off the lights. Not showing the consistency of all of the polishes as they were all exactly the same just a beautiful consistency and very easy to apply The next colour is Popular Boo. This is um, like a, a darker sort of polish, like a slate. Again, it has the silver flakes of glitter and it's accompanied by really fine black and dark silver glitter as well. Next up is Don't Tell My Husband. Now this one's got me a bit baffled. It's really difficult to tell whether this has silver or gold flakes in it. Um, the other accompanying colour is like a, a fairly bright orangey tone. And I'm not sure if it's um, sort of playing with the, the lights and the colour and it's making the other glitter look gold, like a champagne gold. I did think that all of these glitters had a silver glitter with them so and being called platinum I was sort of leaning towards that way so with this one it does have a bit of a goldish tinge to it but it could be that the colours are bouncing off each other.
The next colour is Emotion and this has what I would refer to as more of a bronze type of glitter accompanied with the silver. I found this to be quite opaque, um, it still had the same consistency as the other polishes but it just seemed to be a little bit more opaque in a few coats, um, even with the first coat it seemed a lot more opaque than the others. At times it's coming across on my screen looking almost pink. I can assure you it's more of a bronze coppery type tone and um, obviously different screens reflect the colours differently. At the end of the video I do play a bit with lights so you can try and get a bit of a better idea of how it does change um, in the lighting. So stay tuned until the end so you can sort of um, get that variation. The last colour is called Piranha and this is actually red glitter with the silver and it almost makes it look like a bit of a pink toning as well. Um, again it had the same beautiful consistency as the other polishes and was almost totally opaque in three coats. At present there are seven colours in the Platinum range. I have six of these. The one that I didn't purchase is called Hip Hip Hip, which has more of a brown tone to it. Um, I think I will purchase this down the track. Unfortunately, at the moment, all of the Madame Glam Platinum range is out of stock. It's obviously, obviously been very, very popular. Um, you may not be aware of this, but if there is a product out of stock, Usually when you click on the picture and it's got a big black um, thing that says out of stock, underneath there's a little um, bit of text that says notify me when it's back and if you click on that, when it does come back in stock, they'll send you an email so that you'll be aware that um, it's now available for purchase. All in all, I really enjoyed using this range. I found that it applied really nicely and as I said earlier, um, you could use it as a topper, maybe just one coat over another colour or to get almost opaqueness I would apply three coats. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you have any questions please leave them in the comments section below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. If you like this video please give me a thumbs up and until next time have a great day.